I just learned that I'm going to be doing a show this coming Tuesday, February 9th. Um, I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, I'm a little bit apprehensive um, just because I it's a Tuesday. And who goes out on a Tuesday? I feel like Tuesday is the actual start of the week. Because Monday, I'm still playing games. My laundry's not done. My lesson plans are questionable. You know, like, it's kind of like Monday night slash Tuesday when I'm like, oh, the week has started. Whoops, my bad. So I feel like it's going to be hard to get people out. I'm really going to have to come out. I don't have a lot of time. Um, and uh, it's really going to be a test to whether people believe me and believe in my, in my sound if I can get them to come out on a Tuesday. So back in October, I decided to do my first show and it went well. People, you know, responded positively to it and it was a huge deal for me because I'm not a natural performer at all. I did my sixth grade talent show. I played the guitar. And I sat in a chair the whole time and played three chords and I really think they just put me in because I was a black chick playing the guitar and they're like, wow, that's different. I mean, at the least people will be surprised. <laughs> the song was called Anango Song, so, um, but yeah, so this, it was a huge deal for me and I was very nervous and I think that kind of showed, not just through my face, but through my body language, through my uh, speech. Make you a I, I, I'll make you a to make good music for you always. And I don't think it was horrible, but I mean, I was just visibly very scared. And I made the same sort of movements throughout the entire performance, you know what I mean? And so I have, you know, in that time, uh, performed on and off with like Just Cause um, going on in the middle of their set. And, you know, I improved just slightly but it still wasn't that great of a performance. I'm nervous, <laughs> stiff, me mug on my face. I think that that's sort of the element that's missing right now um, in a lot of artists is that you can make essentially a platinum selling album in your basement now with, with all these, uh, and promote yourself too through, through the internet through all of these different vehicles. Um, so you really don't have to be a performer. That doesn't have to be a critical piece. You don't have to showcase your stuff. But I think that the performance is a huge part of it. And it's, it's a way to, to really, really connect with people. Because you can connect with people via your CD, via your YouTube movies. But when you're physically there, they're physically there, they're chanting what you gave birth to, and you're watching them, it's different. It's completely different. So my mission for this show coming up is to make it a really, really great performance with a lot of crowd participation and I'm showcasing some new songs. So I really hope that it goes well. Yeah, so I wish you luck. Friday, got my shower step on. B, I woke up on time. Let's check this out. Look at this. 6 20, and it's not even really 626. It's actually 6. Uh, no, 556. Gotta do the math. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm just like super duper excited. Um, yeah, today's gonna be a great day, and this show is coming. Yay! Alright, time to actually fix my face. All right. Uh, bless the DJ's place. He's 
be my DJ for my show on Tuesday. I'm really excited. Rich, your burger. <laughs> Uh, he helped me out with my first show, just like really hooked me up and, and helped me out a lot. So I'm super excited. Listening to some Calvin Harris. And I got into Calvin Harris actually because he's playing Calvin Harris at uh, one of his, it was a Just Cause show. And he was playing uh, Neon Rock. So I started getting into it. And this song is dope. And So, do you need to extend that to put another hook at the end? Nope. Nope, it's a, uh, it, there's, there's space on it for a hook. There's space at the end of the, uh. Okay. There's no Okay, so either. at the end of the track, is it just enough for her to do the hook yep. one time at the end? Mm-hmm. Okay, okay, good. This is my favorite part. Other line oh, no. I just gotta do it. Oh no! Jeans, headphones, Ray Bang, glasses on, hipster. Ah, I'm a hipster. Ah, uh, can you dig it? You can call me hipster. I shout in a star at my hips. When I wiggle up, see what's new. Oh my God, big Chuck Taylor's the same way. Let's stay extra fat. I'll get back to the stuff. They kick these other unhipsters. Hey, I just got back from Bless's house. I'm enjoying a piece of cheese. One thing that you will learn about me is that I'm very fond of cheese. In fact, a lot of dairy products with the exception of milk. I love yogurt. Ooh, I love yogurt. Um, cheese is really like my Achilles heel. Um, and I really like take five bars, take five candy bars. Like if you feel like you really like me, you can get them for me and I really like you too. Um, and the last thing is that I say awesome a lot, way too much. <laughs> I'm trying to cut back on that a little bit, actually. Um, so yeah, just got back. He's going to work on the, uh, the, the rough edit, basically, the run through of the songs that we're doing. We had to cut some stuff out, but I think what we're left with is really, really good. Um, and so I'm excited and I'm going to work on some performance stuff tonight before I go to bed in front of my, my little mirror. So. Uh, yeah, it's coming together. Slowly but surely, it's coming together. All right, I'm gonna enjoy this cheddar. Vermont style cheddar from Kroger. Mm, you already know. Mm -hmm. 